By their coach's own admission, Port Adelaide were in a hole and they were looking to turn their season around starting with today's match against Fremantle. But the Dockers had lost their past two matches and their skipper was keen to get them on the board early. Chris Main following in his footsteps. The Dockers with a chance, Main important, easy as you like. The power were determined not to make things easy for the visitors, answering with two straight goals of their own. Nice finish. We're all square. Main looming as the danger man in the Fremantle side, slotting his second of the quarter from the boundary. Very good. He made that look so easy. Port Adelaide were looking flat, but the Dockers were on song as they stretched their lead to three goals. The Power Rangers were out in force, even though there was little to cheer about so far. Fremantle finding two more majors to produce their best opening quarter of the year. He's got his first goal for the afternoon on the siren. Matthew Primus called for his troops to lift at the first change, but his message seemed to be ignored as Kepler Bradley found space to kick his second. He continues to find the goals. The Purple Army capitalising on Port Adelaide's errors. Did well, Hill, they all just peeled off. You don't do that to Stephen Hill. Surely not, got it to Fife and there's another one. The home side were getting frustrated. A free kick handing Ryan Crowley his first of the match. To get in on the action and Fremantle record another goal. Hamish Hartlett finally showed some discipline to find the breakthrough his side needed. Port Adelaide with a rare burst of power, celebrating three goals in a row. Could go to Motlock, takes it upon himself, gives it back to Schultz, hard work, but they got there. Thank you. But just as things looked up for the home side, Ben Jacobs gifted Fremantle yet another major. Pretty ordinary tackle in the end. The power copped a battering from fans as they went into half-time down by 53 points. Robbie Gray responding with the first two goals of the third quarter. Must kick the goal. Does kick the goal. Jasper Pittard dug deep to be the unlikely hero from 50. The young man in his debut season takes it upon himself. Unloads from outside 50. The Dockers waking up from their slumber courtesy of back-to-back -back goals by Reese Palmer. Tight angle. And it's comfortably covered. Dean Brogan waging a war with the biggest man in the AFL and coming off second best. Winding up for his second goal of the year. And he managed to squeeze it through. A rare piece of play went to plan for the power as they celebrated their fifth goal of the term. Andrew Moore making it six with his first goal in AFL footy. Goal square unguarded, bouncing ball, he gets a kind one. After winning the third quarter by one point, Ben Jacobs got Port Adelaide off to the perfect start with his unusual kicking style. Kick is pretty damn good. But mistakes in defence weren't letting the home side catch up to their opponents. He's got 20 metres forward and back, can chip it over the top to Robert who pushes forward to the ball. He can play on top of the goal square and that is as easy as that. There were worrying signs for Dockers fans when Aaron Sanderland suffered an injury and was forced to call it a night. Stephen Hill doing his best to distract the off-field dramas by giving his side a percentage boost. The run from Hill, haven't seen much of this today, he hits the turbos, puts it into fifth and nails the goal. The match may have been too far out of reach for the power, but Travis Boak still found time to shine. Port Adelaide with the last two goals of the match, only to go down to Fremantle by 52 points. Lisa Brougham, Big Pond Sport.